Hi, I am Cindy Powell and I live in Palmer Lake, Colorado. I am on the fire board and I am trying to raise money for the Palmer Lake Fire, De fire Department. Uh, Palmer Lake is located between Colorado Springs and Denver in the foothills. Our uh, fire department was founded in 1937 and the current building was built in 1938. Our building is pretty old and so it really needs to be renovated. We also need a larger bay for the fire engines. Please watch this video that I made. So today I want to take you on a little tour of our our little station here. Um, our station was built in uh, 1938, and then we had an addition added on in 1963-64. So if you'll walk with me here, you can look at the top of the tracks on our station, and you can actually see it's cracked all the way through and about to come off the top of the roof. Um, if you continue with me, we're on the edge of our building here. Uh, uh, one of our pillars to the side of a building is uh, falling apart, and you can see the mortar and the cinder block underneath. And keep in mind, this here is original from 1938. No modern construction has been added to this building other than the addition that was added on in the 60s. So we'll head back this way, and uh, this is our engine 2015. Um, it had to be custom built for our station um, because our bay doors don't meet height, width, and length for a fire engine. So we had to chop off the front bumper and to remove the apparatus in and out of the bay, the mirrors have to be folded in um, for the truck to be able to come in and out. And every now and then, as you can see on this wall, um, the side of the truck will catch or our five inch will catch on the side. So it's a, it's a tight fit. So if we head this way, just recently we had um, this bay floor where our engine is um, collapse. And we had to have a brand new floor port. Um, the engine actually fell through one night when we were coming home from a call. Um, and on this side, this is the original floor and it is starting to crack and peel away just as the engine's floor did. So it's going to need to be replaced also. So our station comes with no ventilation. Um, our bunker gear is kept in the same room as our trucks. We have no exhaust ports and we have no ventilation because we have broken windows. We only have one operating window within our base. So this is our other bay, and that window right there in the corner is our only operating window. Alrighty, if you'll follow me inside, we'll take a look at our living quarters. So, and if you'll notice, that's a large step that you just came up. We don't have any ramps or anything. Um, for our department, so we're not wheelchair accessible. So you're not ADA compliant? We're not ADA compliant, correct. So our living quarters consist of one large room. This was the addition in the 60s. Um, we have our um, living quarters on this side with our beds, and then uh, we have a TV and a couch. And above the TV is our heating system for our entire room. That's the only heater that we have, and that runs all winter long. And we have an office, and then what I'm standing in right here is the uh, training room. We have our whiteboard and our table. And then here to the left is our kitchen and dining area. Anything else? We have water that leaks. Whenever it rains, it comes to the walls over here. So, and also, we only have one bathroom. 
bathroom facility um, in our station. Uh, it's for both male and female. Um, it is quite tight. Um, I have to enter the door sideways because my shoulders are too wide. I can't make it through. We have one shower. Um, our shower unfortunately leaks, so we try not to shower um, because it'll leave a huge puddle across the floor and it'll start to actually flood the bathroom. This is it. Okay, thank you very much. So basically what we're doing is we are trying to, um, to get donations to renovate our building. Uh, we are a tax deductible 501c3 organization. And uh, depending upon how much money we raise, we'll determine how, we'll, how much we'll be able to renovate. We already have plans drawn. We have a local architect who's drawn plans on how to remodel. Um, the first thing that needs to be done is to put a new bay on, onto the fire station so that we have room for the larger equipment. And then they would renovate the current building. So thank you very much.